nuts. <laughs> Thank you very much for pointing it out, Niall. Okay, thank you very much for pointing it out. Oh my goodness. You know, we embrace the scuff. I just wanted you to see my mouth physics, just to confirm that yes, we are on live. And thank you very much for the observation. You are, you are greatly appreciated, yes. <laughs> but yes, again, welcome everybody to the show. It is your favorite color surfing DJ, Sir J Spec back with yet another spectacular stream. And whether you're watching live, whether you're watching the VOD, whether you're chatting or lurking, you are all welcome here, and I hope that this stream will bring a little more color to your day. Welcome, welcome to the show, everyone. It is Thursday, November 16, 2023, at 10.42 a.m. That time check was brought to you by yours truly. Welcome, everybody, and I hope that you are taking care. Again, apologies for the... Um, the error that occurred, I was mentioning that I wanted to do a chatting stream, but I thought of playing uh, Yakiniku Simulator on, on Steam, excuse me. But the problem was, is that it just decided to crash my laptop, so I had to restart the whole thing. And then, here we are. <laughs> so I decided to take a load off my laptop, my poor, poor laptop, and we're just gonna play Suica game. Now I know some of you might be a bit tired of me playing Suica game, but the reason why I'm playing this right now also is because my hands and my wrists are still very sore right now. So I'm trying to play a slower game that will not like strain my wrists way too much. So you will have to understand why I keep like playing Suica frequently. So appreciate the understanding. I will not apologize. <laughs> <laughs> hello, Mylis. Thank you very much for stopping by. Let me shout you out. And Kuya Kayako! Hello, Kuya Kayako. Let Thank you very much for stopping by. Kuya Kayako says, Sergey, you're the only Suica gamer that I like to watch, just so you know. Hey, thank you very much for that. Appreciate that. That means a lot. And also, we do have Kaifer. Thank you very much for stopping by, Kaifer. Good morning to you as well. How are you? How are you doing today? How are you all doing today? And also to you too, Niall. Thank you very much for stopping by. Glad to have you here. Glad to have you here. Yeah, we had we had our we had our scuff. We had our disasters. But you know, it do be like that sometimes. <laughs> it do be like that sometimes. So we just have to you know, we just have to live with it. Yes. Myla says, Sergey Suica, the rainbow fruit. I suppose so. I suppose so. And Kaifer says, I saw things. I think I know what you're talking about, Kaifer, but let's leave it for other social media. Yes. Okay. But still, thank you very much, everyone, for stopping by. Glad to have you all here. And I appreciate, and um, especially since our disastrous first attempt at a stream today, <laughs> since we first came back. And also, I just want to let you know that if ever you want to go ahead and hang out with me, especially for any offline situations, like, you know, um, you want to go ahead and hang out with me, because I usually do that when I am, you know, bored at, in the evenings, go ahead and join the, the Sir Javian Nation or the Color Surfer Station Discord server. Remember, 18 plus. So, I am. <laughs> But anyway, um, we've done enough talking. Let's go ahead and talk and play Suica game. But we're gonna be playing the Halloween mode because you know what? Sometimes, sometimes the scary month never ends. So we'll just have to indulge in that, Diva. Right? Ah, yes. For those of you who are not familiar with what we usually do here, enter exclamation point color exclamation point food and exclamation point drink and you will know your different fortunes of the day and thank you once again um kuya uh for the compliment i greatly appreciate that uh tell me do you also play suica in any form at all Ah, Yuki, it's exclamation yes, food, not fruit. We are we are not that obsessed with Suica yet that we have replaced the choices with fruit. 
<laughs> oh my gosh. Kuya says no, but I want to. Actually, Kuya, um, it was recent. Um, there already is a Suica browser game that's free. Just type Suica game. And not only that, there is also a, uh, what's this? There is also a mobile app for Suica game. So it does exist. Suica, Suica, ano? Uh, pang Pang, something like that. It's just like what they did with, we were joking about this. Mobile Legends, bang bang. <laughs> Kuya says, I want to play the Switch version. Ah, yes. I, I think I under, I think I know what where you're coming from there. I like playing for the music. Ah, yeah, the other versions don't have the music as far as I know. So, yeah, I think I, 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 I understand why you prefer that one. So, okay. I get, I get what you mean. What do you mean? Huh? Yes. Yes, it do. Yes, we do. Sometimes the music is... Sometimes I would just like to say this, that, you know... Even if a game is not really that amazing, sometimes the music of the game is what really makes it special. That's why, for the longest time, I never really listened to, like, quote-unquote, normal people music. Normie. <laughs> Because the only thing that I had on my um, MP3 player was... What's this? Video game music. Especially fighting game music. You know, I grew up on things like Street Fighter and other Capcom fighting games mostly. And King of Fighters, Guilty Gear. And a lot of the time, even if I was never really good with the games, I found, I really appreciated, you know, being able to listen to the music and, you know, just being able to, uh, do stuff with it, right? It's, it's, it's a special experience and I, um, appreciate, you know, how it was able to make things very fun for me. Kuya says, but, uh, true, that's how I feel about Genshin. Ah, yes. I'll tell you something, Kuya. Um, I have not played Genshin in years, but I remember the very first time I crossed, I crossed that uh, river, and then I no 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 excuse me. I I remember the very first time I climbed Dragon Spine Mountain, and I was lost. I didn't know where to go. I just knew that I was freezing and I needed to get all out, and all. The only thing I knew is that I had to, you know, stay cool. And when I finally ended somewhere, I didn't... It looked like a very new place. And then I battled some monsters, and it sounded very, very different from the Mondstadt... The Mondstadt music. And I found, oh, somehow, by accident, I ended up in Liyue. <laughs> In the Liwei region, we were already at Wang near Wangshu. I believe that's the name of the of the inn, Wangshu Inn. So I was like, "Wow, this place is definitely not in Mondstadt anymore." <laughs> oh my gosh! Kuya says, "Fighting game music, really? What are the best OSTs for you? I have never considered that." Oh, by the way, Reeker, welcome back. Thanks for the redeem. Uh, for me, I usually I'm a I'm a I'm a Street Fighter fanboy, so I grew up with a lot of Street Fighter music and things like. If you want to try, go for um, go for Street Fighter Three Third Strike. I the thing I I really love the so let me just write that down okay Street Fighter Three Third Strike. The good thing about that music is that every round, so whenever there's a new round in the in the match, the music changes. Not really changes, but there's like a third, there's like a, like it goes to another part. So it's like verse one in round one and verse two in round two, so something like that. So it's a, it's a very unique experience, especially since most of the time in other fighting games, the music just sticks to like, you know, one 
one verse, one chorus most of the time throughout the entire match. So it provides some variety. And that's the thing that they also did in Street Fighter VI, the most recent game. So I recommend it. And if you want a good track to start, I recommend you listen to Jazzy NYC. That's the that's the most famous track of the game, if only because it is the track associated with Evo Moben 37. Let's go, Justin! Yeah, that if you if you're familiar with your fighting game um, history, that is a very very um, famous and infamous moment. Yes. Let's see here. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. Myla says, Anamanaguchi Scott Pilgrim vs. The World, the game OST is still up there for me. Funny you should mention that, Myla's. I actually have Scott Pilgrim available here on the Switch. Maybe one of these days I can play it, but it would be so much better if it's, um, if it's actually with friends. Because it's a team beat em up, so definitely having friends around would help. I remember when. I remember when this. People were really, really sad when this got taken out of the PlayStation um, store, PSN, I believe it was called. Um, they removed it because I think Ubisoft lost the license to this game uh, because of the rights. And then eventually, I think due to popular demand, they eventually returned it. And speaking of which, uh, for those who don't know, a Scott Pilgrim anime is going to be showing on Netflix very soon. So, you know, if you haven't experienced the original comic books or the movie, which is something <laughs> of, on its own, then I recommend you give the anime on Netflix a try when it finally comes out. I don't know when, but yeah, give it a try. You won't know unless you give it a try. Let's see here. Mila says Third Strike has that funk look and music. They fit together. That's true. That's true. Mila also says, Sergey, maybe you should play Hi-Fi Rush. Music and all. Plus, I think it's not that heavy on requirements. Well, hopefully for your comp. I actually have Hi-Fi Rush downloaded on my laptop. It's on my Steam already. The only the only thing I'm I need to check. You know, the only problem that I have with certain Steam games is that, especially if they're like story mode based, I'm afraid that if I play the game, then you know we won't be able to start over again. So that's just my main concern. But Hopefully that will not be the case when I play Hi-Fi Rush. Like, there will be an ability for me to start over. Kuya says, the Scott movie... The Scott Pilgrim movie was an experience, yes. And apparently, for the anime movie, most of the original actors... Or the most of the original performers from the movie will be returning to the Scott Pilgrim anime. So yes, you will see scenes like Chris Evans being a jerk and uh, and uh, Scott Pilgrim trying to be trying to get back with one of his exes, Captain Marvel. <laughs> you know, sometimes I like to do that when it comes to like uh, movies and stuff. I try to say like um What was his name? Uh Say we talk about, like, Iron Man, okay? So Iron Man... Iron Man is portrayed by by Sherlock Holmes, and his best friend... Well, later on, his best friend is the manager from Hotel Ronda, and his, um... His, uh, love interest is... What, what's, what's Gwyneth Paltrow famous for? I just forgot, all of a sudden. <laughs> but yeah, th th those sorts of things. Those sorts of things. That's that's the kind of game that I like to play. It's like I if ever you want to talk about like famous role famous other roles like that. 
So like, so like, not pepper pots. I want to talk about like, you know, what else is Gwyneth Paltrow famous for? So something like that. Um, it's a little easier if I do something like, uh, for example, the Prince of Egypt. For that one, it's. Uh, let's see here. Wait, who played Moses in Prince of Egypt? Hold on. I need to remember the characters. Egypt... Actors. Val Kilmer! Okay, now I remember. Okay. So, uh, in the Prince of Egypt, uh, we do have... We do have 1990s Batman, who is tasked but also by 1990s Batman, excuse me, we have 1990s Batman and his brother is Lord Voldemort. His brother is Lord Voldemort, or his adopted Egyptian brother is Lord Voldemort and his adopted father, his adopted father is Professor X. <laughs> so something like that, you know, it's like try to associate Try to associate, associate, you know, other famous roles of those actors in those movies. So something like that. Myla says Shallow Hal. She was in Shallow Hal. Oh, I, I, well, I didn't really watch that movie, so I can't really tell. <laughs> Kuya also says, wait, I'm thinking of a different Romeo and Juliet. Yeah, probably not the one with Leonardo DiCaprio. And wasn't she with Leonardo DiCaprio on that one? I forgot. Oh, I, I don't know anymore. <laughs> Kuya also says, All I know, Gwyneth, is that she's singing Cruising. Yeah, that's the only thing I remember from her. <laughs> Cruise with me, baby. Ooh, ooh. To be fair, she's a very good singer in that song. She's a good singer. I'll give her that. Nuts. Nineteen nineties Batman. His brother is Lord Voldemort. His sister, his father is Professor X. And his sis his actual sister, Michelle Pfeiffer, is what's this? Nineteen nineties Catwoman. So yeah, that's uh definitely something. It's kinda like how I recently found out that if you look at the the cast of Pocahontas. The, the Disney movie, Pocahontas. The, uh, John Smith was actually played by Mel Gibson. And, and his friend, Thomas, is actually Christian Bale. So, so, Mel Gibson, the guy from, what was it? That movie, Lethal Weapon? Lethal Weapon guy was best friends with 2005 Batman. <laughs> so yeah, something interesting. You know, I, I, it's, it's nice to see when you're like at that moment, you know that meme image of Leonardo DiCaprio? That Leonardo, uh, that meme image of Le Leonardo DiCaprio who's watching TV and is like, whoa, 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 what? Like that. Sorry, the dogs are the dogs were uh very very uh were very very excited when I said they thought they thought it was time for food or something. <laughs> not yet lunch, boys, not yet lunch. Kuya says, I keep forgetting that Mel Gibson is John Smith. Yeah. <laughs> Imagine that. You know, I I was surprised too. Because I didn't really know a, a lot about Mel Gibson when I was younger. So I was like, who is that? <laughs> Reeker says, with Sigma Man. Who's Sigma Man, Reeker? Sorry. I must have missed the reference. And you know what's funny? When they released that sequel... Excuse me. When they released that sequel to Pocahontas... Uh, Pokemon Pocahontas 2 Journey to a New World. Christian Bale actually portrayed John Rolfe. <laughs> who was the one who eventually uh, fell in love and got married with Pocahontas? So, yeah. Christian Bale upgraded, <laughs> apparently. Oh my goodness. 
He 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 per he became a totally different person. My goodness. But yeah, it's just it's just funny to see you know actors. It's like wait, this person did that, you know, stuff like that. Oh yes, Reeker, Sigma Man. Okay, yes, Christian Bale of American Psycho is Sigma Man. And did you know? Oh yeah, Christian Bale is actually a child actor. He was in that. He was in that movie. What was it? Rising Sun. When he was still a kid. Let me say, Christian Bale. Movies. When he was still a, a very young boy. Empire of the Sun. There we go. He was an Empire of the Sun. And uh, he was a young boy at the time. And that was when, I think, one of the guys, one of the actors who was also there was Ben Stiller. So when, when now that I'm older, I'm like, wait, whoa, <sighs> familiar face. <laughs> very, very interesting coincidence. Yeah, Empire. It's it's Empire, not not Tears. And then it's also interesting that Oh yeah, the only thing I really remember from Empire of the Sun when I was a kid because I didn't really understand the movie was that um that was my very first introduction to Klim. I'm not sure if you all are familiar with Klim. It's a po it's a powdered milk, but you know, the brand name is Klim, which is just milk backwards. You know, someone decided to be smart and decided, what if we spelled it backwards? <laughs> oh my gosh. Kuya said, I said tears because it was a sad movie. Yeah, it was. It was a sad movie. I will never forget, out of context, we will not spoil, but I will never forget that scene with the mango. That was a very, very sad time for everybody, especially young Christian Bale. <laughs> Myla says, Goodwill Hunting, synopsis, a young teenager named named Jason Bourne is best friends with Snyder Batman, Ben Affleck? And he is sent by the father of Pennywise to psychiatric session under Mrs. Doubtfire Robin Williams? Okay. Wait a second, who's the father of... of Pennywise? Sorry, let me go on mute first, I have a call. Alright, hold on, hold on. Okay, sorry about that. Uh... Okay, the mic is back on. All right. Mila says Stellan Skarsgård is the actor, father of the current Pennywise, Bill Skarsgård. Oh yeah, thank you, thank you. Sometimes I I kind of forget like who is the who is the the parent between the two of them. If it was Stellan or Bill. So yeah, thank you very much for that. It's kind of like. You know, when you were younger, you've heard about Martin Sheen and Charlie Sheen. They were father and kid. Uh, sorry, they were parent and child. And eventually, yeah, they they had their own movies. But I know they are related. Hold on. Oh yeah, so that's their father. That's their brother. Okay, right. So the father is Martin Sheen, and the son is Charlie Sheen, 
And they also have a brother, Emilio Estevez. Emilio Estevez was the guy the co is Coach Bombay from the Mighty Ducks. Dear Lord, I'm really I'm really showing my age here. <laughs> but you know what? It, it, it do be like that. It do be like that. We'll just have to accept it. I'm an old man. I, when I was a kid, I I didn't understand. You know, how are they? How are they related? They don't have the same last name. Little did that little did I know that changing your name is a very common thing to do in Hollywood. <laughs> yeah, I can see why. I can see why. I mean, I remember when I first started streaming, I really was like, "No, no, I do not want to use another name. I want to be known as my real name." But you know, eventually I began to accept that, you know, I'm fine with being referred to as as Sergey. You know, Sergey is me, but I am not Sergey, if you know what I mean. Okay, whoopa! Yes, there we go, baby. Sorry, I was trying to concentrate. Okay, let's put this here and here, and you put the cherry here. Cherry mobile, yes. No! Ah! Okay, well, whatever. Anyway, it do be like that sometimes, so we're just gonna put this here, we're gonna connect this here, we're gonna put that there. Yes, and we're gonna put that there, and there, and there, and there, and there, and... Yes, we're doing math, baby! Yuki says, same as mine. I mean, I am Yuki, pero, yep, if you know, you know, yes. If you know, we know. I don't really know, but there's no need for me to know. Yes. <laughs> Our secrets are our own, yes. You know how... I remember... I was reading... I, I For a few... Ca the, during the pandemic... I was actually exposed to this... Um, novel series... Called... Um, the Dresden Files. And that was actually... A series for a while. So long story short... Harry Dresden is a wizard in Chicago... And he also serves a, as a detective... And he goes around solving cases. He's... Some people call him like the other Harry. Or it depends on who... Where you started. If you begin... If you began with like the... The schoolboy Harry. Or the detective Harry. <laughs> but anyway. It was only when I was reading the Dresden Files that I began to understand like the power of true names. And which is something... A little more familiar if you if you read or watched Death Note, where you know if you know the complete or true name of a thing, you it you grant you're you're able to have power over that thing. So that's why, especially like in the magical world, um, a lot of creatures are very very possessive of their of their true names because if they if they're not careful. Um, they might end up, uh, you know, losing control to someone else, you know, to someone else. Reeker says, oh, there's a similar Ghibli movies. I think maybe you mean Spirited Away, because I remember, well, that's pretty much the only Ghibli movie that I know. <laughs> as popular as Ghibli movies are, I've never watched many of them. Maybe we should watch a few, just so I can see the hype behind them. Reeker says, Tales from the Earth Sea. Oh, I've never watched that. Interesting, because that concept was also revisited in Spirited Away, so that's a very interesting uh, thing that they also brought that up.
Sorry, I'm just, uh, sending stuff. Hold on. Okay, uh, I have to send Gcash. <laughs> Gcash malang! My goodness. I think for those of you who still commute my Jeeps, you'll have to tell me if if this is accurate. Some Jeepneys already also accept Gcash. Instead of you just, you know, passing money from the back all the way to the front, some Jeepneys now accept Gcash as a valid mode of payment. Which is very interesting, actually. I want to go back to the classic mode. I'm, I'm tired of, of scary game. There we go. Let's go, baby. Okay. <sighs> Yuki says, yep, accurate as heck. Even modern jeepneys, I see. Reeker says, will it also be available in the Philippines end of... Oh, I think you're talking about this thing from Milo's. What do you mean hype behind it? Trust me, Ghibli is legendary. I can't wait for their newest one this end of November, The Boy and the Heron. Well, I only say the hype behind it because, you know, I haven't seen a single one aside from, what was this? From Spirited Away and Steam Boy. And that one was supposed to be like pretty hype, but I didn't really get the appeal of that particular one. But yeah, definitely Mononoke, I should look at that because everybody, you know, sings its praises. And uh, what's this? I'm not sure if Porco Rosso is included there. Um, is is one of those also? Mila says I suggest Princess Mononoke, Sergey. That one will raise the bar to the roof, and it's mature. Yes, from what I know. And uh, what's this? Reeker says Spirited Away is uh, funny. Excuse me, it's overrated for me. Sorry about that. Interesting that you bring that you mentioned that, Reeker. Okay. And Reeker says, my favorite is Kiki's delivery service. Oh, yeah, I've heard about a lot about that one. <laughs> what if in the Discord server one day we just do an entire marathon of Ghibli movies? My goodness. Again, if you want to go ahead and be part of events like those, go ahead and check out the Color Surfer Station Discord server. Maybe we can, maybe if and when I decide to do that, you'll finally be part of it. <laughs> I just, uh, I just know that, I just find it funny that Hayao Miyazaki was also involved in a Lupin, a Lupin the Third movie, Castle of Cagliostro. And I was like, you know, for someone who's not really familiar with Hayao Miyazaki's work, I was like, oh wow, that that seems quite different from what I come to expect from Hayao Miyazaki, you know? You know, for those who are not really, like, initiated into the world of Ghibli, they, you know, you might just think, oh, these are, like, cutesy, cutesy, feel-good movies. But then again, you know, Mononoke exists, so there's that. <laughs> And he also worked on um, Cagliostro, so that's so that's definitely something not really for the kids, <laughs> since you know it's Lupin the Third, and Lupin is not really kid friendly. <laughs> you know, you know how it is when you see animated movies. When you see animated movies, it's like uh, what's this? 
you think, oh, it's so cute. They've got very nice, they've got very cute visuals and animals. Surely there's nothing, surely there's nothing wrong with this. And then the movie that you're watching is Grave of the Fireflies. And it's like, nope. <laughs> That's definitely not kid friendly. Nope. I wonder what it must have been like for parents who brought their kids to watch Gra Grave of the Fireflies when it first came out. And then they must have complained to the theater owners. <laughs> oh my gosh. Alright. Mila says, I think it's more of a of a Ghibli project than a Hayao Miyazaki project. But yeah, he got plenty of side projects. I see, I see. Caliostro. The castle of Caliostro, yes. Actually, it's pronounced Caliostro. I don't know. Sometimes I... Italian is not one of my strongest languages. I don't even know that many languages. The only ones that I know are usually related to food. <laughs> because that's usually the simplest way that I would understand a new language. Usually it's just, what words do they use for food? Okay, let's use that. Nuts. Okay, uh, let's put this here, and here we go, and it like that. Cool Bean says, Aw, oh, dang, my alarm did not go off. Good morning, humans. Good morning, Cool Beans. Welcome to the stream. We're all good with the shout-outs, by the way. Welcome, and thanks for stopping by. Cool Beans. You said you set your alarm to my streams. <laughs> just kidding. It's okay. It's okay. We're, we're all good over here. We're just chilling out. We we're just talking about old movies, and we're talking about how uh, Studio Ghibli movies are not all just cute and cuddly. You know, they have certain things that also make them not necessarily kid-friendly. <laughs> Ah yes, Makoto Shinkai is definitely one I wanted to bring up. Thank you. I don't know what people really think about Makoto Shinkai. If they think he's also overrated or something like that, I don't know. But I know when um, Your Name and Weathering With You came out, like holy cow, people were, people were going gaga over that. Especially with the cosplay and the parodies and stuff. My goodness, that was that that was like a cash cow. That was a cash cow legend. Cool Bean says the first Ghibli I actually watched was Nausicaa. Oh yeah, I think I need to go. I think I need to watch that as well. Nausicaa, Castle in the Sky, and a uh, bunch of that. Castle in the Sky, which is which the first part I am not, I prefer not to mention on stream because that would, could probably get me in trouble. <laughs> oh my goodness. Myla says, also Satoshi Khan. Rest in peace, legend. Oh yeah, you know what? This reminds me, Cool Beans. This reminds me of that recent uh, film showing that you had in, I think it was Flow's server, or in your, in uh, Panma's server, when you were watching, when there was like this discussion of, uh, Satoshi Kon, and uh, Satoshi Kon's movies like Paprika and Perfect Blue also influenced like things like Requiem for a Dream. So I didn't, I didn't think of that. I didn't think that, you know, the influence would go that far, apparently. So, the more you know. Hey Luna, welcome to the stream. Thank you for stopping by. Can I have a shout out for Luna, please? Yes, saying the first part of Castle in the Sky would get me in trouble. Do not, do not say that or I will, I will, I will mute you. <laughs> anyway. 
Cool Bean says, Hot take. I watched Makoto before he's famous. Voices of a Distant Star. And he makes beautiful films. But in terms of story, it's not really something to write home about. He loves sci-fi, though. Yeah, the only thing that I really know... That... that the only thing that I heard about before he became famous for, like, your name was 5 centimeters per second. And it seems to be, like, a frequent theme of his, as Milas mentions. Usually it's, like, about, like, love and stuff like that. And, and you know, how distant it is. It's, it's very difficult. Yeah, I like that. Reeker says, and they ignore my silent vo I mean, excuse me, a silent voice. Yeah, I heard about that one. That was also very... Uh, but nobody really seems to talk about a silent voice. Yeah, now that you mention it, Reeker, nobody seems to talk about a silent voice in comparison to the other work. I don't know why, but... Okay. I guess. Mylis says, is that the one where there are two lovers and the girl is a mech fighter light years away, so their love transcends time and space? I think I saw that one too. My cool Bean says, yep, I love his works because he's a sci-fi nut, but his romance is I, but not really great. I see. Cool Bean says, a cat returns is just furry propaganda. Oh, wow, okay. All right. And... Reeker says, I'm forgetting one Makoto movie where they made a jet to reach the girl from another dimension. Oh, wow. That's a lot of traveling there just to find just to find uh, the one you love. My gosh. When will I find someone to travel dimensions for me? Nako! My goodness. The Filipino version of Makoto Shinkai. Nakupo Shinkai. <laughs> I'm sorry. Luna says, the topic is too real, maybe. Yeah, that's probably why people don't really talk about a silent voice. Yeah, maybe, 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 maybe now I get what you're talking about. Myla says, I got into that flick because of Nostalgia Critic. He's got a good review of it. Not that amazing, but conceptually still profound. Ah, yes. Profound. The implication, uh, sorry, the, the, the fact that the word profound exists indicates that the opposite of profound is beginner lost. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yes. Classic Sergey, Sergey lines. Beginner lost. That is that is the cla that is what happens when I when I play when I play uh, Dark Souls. That's why I stopped playing Dark Souls because it's always beginner lost mode for me. Let's go! Sweet go! Sorry. Okay, beginner lost, but we were not lost there, baby. We were not lost there, baby. Let's go! I told you, I told you, yes. I told you! We good! We good! Aw, oh, dang it! Suika, why are you- why are you so thick? You're blocking- you're blocking the, uh, orange, goodness gracious. Dang, boy! Suika thick! My gosh. Anyway, Cool Bean says, Ah, feels good to have another Sergey stream. <laughs> feels good to have another Sergey stream where Sergey goes monkey mode. Yes. Classic experience. One you would not trade for the world. I speak sincerely. Luna says, Suika blocked. <laughs> Iba block kita. Like, no, no, if you want to block me, just block me. Goodness gracious. No need to make an announcement. I won't even take it personal. <laughs> oh my gosh. 
Cool Bean says, my god, the grape on the right fall down. Yes, grape. Grape on the right, please fall down. Please fall down. Just like I just like I wish my crush would fall for me. Aye! Sorry. No, no, I'm not. <laughs> I am not sorry. My goodness. Ah! Apple! This is why Apple products... <sighs> Sergey, be calm. Be calm. Rephrase. Rephrase. This is why Apple products are not my favorite. <laughs> okay, there we go. There we go. Okay, look, I can say that because I used to be an app. I used to use Apple products, okay? Cool Bean says, whoa, Twitch is showing a watch streak for rewards. Is this new? Yeah. I watched another stream earlier, and apparently that's a thing now. Uh, it's a watch streak. I don't- I still don't understand what that is about. But that is a thing that exists, apparently. <laughs> ah, why don't you touch? Why don't you touch? Sometimes when we touch, the honesty is too much. You hear my dog? Yeah, it's my dog. Gamai, shh. Hey, Jat, welcome to the stream. How are your errands, by the way? You already done? Uh, can I have a shout out for Jat, please? Jat's been very busy uh, with his Mega Man inspired game. And yes, I, and and yours truly, the color surfing DJ, is one of the one of the enemy VTuber masters, <laughs> for lack of a better term. Yes. Jat says, still away from home, though. Oh, I see, I see. Okay, make sure- hope- hope you get- you get all of those errands done very soon, Jat. Reeker with the bark command. <laughs> I don't- I don't think the stream is ready yet for a bark command to be installed. I mean, who's gonna avail of the bark command in the audience? Okay, chat, you tell- you tell me, chat. Would you avail of a bark command? <laughs> cool Bean says, do we have a bark command? No, we don't have a bark command. That's why I'm asking. <laughs> would, would, would it be feasible to have a bark command? <laughs> it, it would be, it would be kind of pointless to have a bark command if you know, if chat, if we can't even hear chat bark, because... <laughs> okay, we're, we're moving in a very, 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 very interesting direction that I don't think is wise to pursue. So, so we can, let's derail this thread while it's still early. <laughs> oh my gosh. Myla says, okay then, old man barking command. Oh my goodness, no. No, no, no. Luna says, this game is over. You, you, have, have faith. Have faith, my goodness. Okay, look, see, it was not over. It was extended by, by a few seconds. See? It was extended by a few seconds. Oh, hey, I got a new, I got a new record. We are higher by two points. Two points, baby. We were higher by two points, my gosh. Jat says, not really a game though, but still a fun project to make featuring VTubers, including yours truly, Sergey. Yes, indeed. 
I, I was I was joking to Jat. Okay, Jat, here's what's gonna happen, all right? When you get to my stage in your fan-made game, I want you to stuff every single color in the spectrum in that stage, okay? <laughs> I want you to make it as blindingly colorful as possible, okay? That's the plan. <laughs> I don't care about game balance. I don't care if I'm OP. <laughs> My gosh. Yes. Luna says, I feel that would break the game. <laughs> I would be I would be like the I would be like the the boss that you would have to fight last because if you if you don't have enough material, you're probably gonna break the game. <laughs> oh, you need ara ara oya oya for a vid. Okay, you need ara ara for a vid. Wow. Okay, you get free material then, Luna. Fine, I'll do it for you. Okay, hold on. Let me do it for you. Okay, here we go. Ara ara, get get your recording button ready, okay? <clears throat> okay. This is for you, Luna. Ara ara. Does that work? <laughs> Yes, there we go. I, 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 I... Luna says clipping. Okay, good. Glad to, glad to know that it worked. <laughs> uh, what's this? Ba -ba 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 -ba. Chat says, real challenge is if they try without weaknesses. Yeah, I joked I joked about with about that with chat. Is that in my stage concept, I there will be parts, there will be times in my boss fight that I become invincible to every other weapon. And I turn and then since there are like eight total bosses, I will turn into a color of the rainbow. And the only way you can defeat my invincible shield is if you have, uh, what's this? If you have, uh, the appropriate weakness weapon. So, there are like a total of seven different phases. Yes, I, I told you, I made myself OP. I don't care. <laughs> I don't care about game balance. Okay. But yeah, that was, that was what we were joking about. It's like, yeah, make me OP. That's it. Okay, that's it. Myla says, whoa, whoa, we don't want another Pokemon seizure trigger with a colorful level now. Okay, well. <laughs> I suppose. I suppose, Myla's. Reeker says, Sergey, Sergey effect is he eats your computer's RAM. <laughs> nom 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 nom. Give me your graphics card. Your graphics card is mine. Your NVIDIA, uh... Give me, give me like a random graphics card name that I can, that I can quote, please. I, I'm not familiar with graphics card stuff. Uh, what's this? Um, Luna says I have more guys saying ara ara, so that's your plan, Luna. Oh my goodness, where my ladies at? <laughs> Bark with me now. Bow wow wow yippee yo yippee yay. Oh my gosh. Where my dogs at? Bark with me now. Bow wow wow yippee yo yippee yay. Okay, whatever. Anyway. Uh, let's see. Jess, uh, Jat says, uh, what's this? Sergey is like Airman. Can't beat him. <laughs> You know, this reminds me so much. You know, we were speaking about uh, fighting games very, very early in the stream. And I want to highlight this one particular fighting game uh, from the 90s. And it's called Kaiser Knuckle. And the long, long story short is that the boss of Kaiser Knuckle, um, his name is the General, 
He is so infamous for having such busted AI that no one was ever able to defeat him until they discovered like some kind of glitch or something that finally made it. so instead of like you know fighting him fairly they cheesed him with they cheesed the ai using like a specific fighting technique for a character and that was the only way they were actually able to de finally defeat uh the boss you, you can check it out it's like a very old youtube video uh the video game is called kaiser knuckle and it's very hard to defeat the boss fairly because he's not fair at all he is definitely not he is he is like the prime example of all those old arcade games that do nothing but want to take all of your money and more well not just your money but your sanity apparently because holy cow he i've seen videos of how he plays he is not fun to fight at all Cool Bean says, Luna's Ara Ara Harem. <laughs> oh my gosh. Luna gathering all of the all of the Ara Ara. With your Ara Ara combined, I am Captain Ara Ara. Who knows for what devious purposes Luna collects them for? Nuts. Oh, 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 There we go, baby. Yes. We still got it. Oh, hot, hot. Oh, we got it. Oh, my gosh. My, my, fin my, my fingers. You know, I really need to be more careful with my habits when I work on the computer. I'm getting like strain on my wrists and my fingers, especially on my left hand nowadays. You know, I remember the very first time I had that pain. That was a very new feeling for me. So especially if you type on a keyboard all day, goodness gracious, it's a nightmare. So be careful, be careful for, for especially I think for artists and gamers, the pain is real, my goodness. Luna says pasta and wine. Oh my god, fancy! <laughs> Truly. The only thing missing is the pasta that is prepared in a block, of, in a wheel of Parmesan cheese. Or if, if you want to be fancy, Parmesan cheese. Did you see how far that per persimmon was launched to the right side of the screen? Goodness gracious, that was scary. <laughs> cool Bean says, Luna, the Ara Ara Someye. Oh my goodness. Just the way, just the way you, uh, say, mention the word Someye, uh, Cool Beans, it reminds me of, of John Wick 2. My gosh. That scene where John Wick is shopping for weapons, and one of the peeps that he talks to is the sommelier. Sommelier is like the wine taster, the wine expert. So, and then he's the guy with the really deep British voice that says, Good afternoon, Mr. Wick. What, what would you like for your party? And then Keanu Reeves goes, I'd like something, I'd like something big, bold. And then the, and then the sommelier goes, may I suggest? The AR-15. <laughs> they're talking. They're talking in like wine terms, but they're talking about guns. And it's a very interesting, you know. And it's a very interesting scene, you know. I really should watch the John Wick movies. They are available on Netflix. So add that to the ever-growing list of movies that Sergey needs to watch. <laughs> Good afternoon, Mr. Wick. I'm sure you're aware. I am, I am aware of your fondness of the German varietals, but I wholly endorse this new batch of Austrians. Glock 49. <laughs> oh my goodness. 
What what else would you like, Mr. Wick? Dessert. And then the guy and then the guy goes, he smiles, it's like <sighs> dessert. <laughs> And then he pulls out a, a whole case of pocket knives. The finest cutlery. All freshly stoned. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, where's this Farmer Sanch Farmer John thing we're talking about? Hold on, hold on. Before that, Cool Bean says, Ooh, that's a posture problem. There's a specific height you need to balance for working, otherwise it's gonna hurt in the long run. Yeah. I remember a few months ago, it was my my butt okay let me explain i have i had like hip and butt problems from sitting down way too long on my chair but it seems that the the, the pain has been transferred to my fingers and my wrist now i don't know for the artists in the chat if you also have like those wrist strain things that occur if you draw for way too long all i'm just saying is you know uh be careful out there and hopefully you don't, you know, stress, strain your hand way too much because you need those hands. I need my hands, okay? I need my hands, but probably not, but probably, but for other purposes, of course. Mm. Reeker says, pulls out a person. <laughs> Good afternoon, Mr. John Wick. I do have I do have the perfect tool for you. Pulls out pulls out a friend. <laughs> My gosh. Jat says, same for me sometimes. Oh, so you also have that that thing. Yeah, you also have that pain thing. Yeah. I wouldn't wish that to happen to anyone. That is such a pain. Literally. Kaifer says, ooh, your channel has that new watch streak feature. Yeah, you'll have to tell me, because I only saw it for like a few seconds. What's up with this new, with this uh, chat st watch streak feature? I only know, I only knew about it earlier. But yep, good to have you back, Kaifer. Um, hope to, good to see you were already here earlier, so yes, thank you very much for coming back, is what I was trying to say. Sometimes I can't English, okay? Dang it! Cool Bean says, I checked, and it seems that it just gives out bonus channel points per successive watches. I see, okay. Kaifer also says, ah, it just shows a progress bar for those who watch. I see, I see. Yes. Yes, yes, indeed. Progress! Progress! Indeed! I have joined so many of those art raffles and art giveaways on Twitter, you would not believe. <laughs> Which is why I, I recommend that if you, um, I suggest that if you're a VTuber, I recommend that you make your uh, pinned post um, a list of all of your VTuber models. Because that way, um, you no longer have to keep uploading your, your reference sheet if you want to enter those art raffles or art giveaways. All you need to do is just share the link and then you, you're, you're all set. And also, that's a good way too because that will not clog up your media tab with the same pictures every every so often. I, le I learned that the hard way, or I've, I've learned it from observing other friends because they keep uploading the same pictures of their reference sheets. And I found that even if you can, as long as you use the link version, it will not show on your For You tab, which makes it a lot neater. Especially for me who loves getting art. <laughs> Yes, that is my love language, getting art. Ahem, ahem. I love getting art, and I love getting... <clears throat> art. Yes. Mm-hmm. Luna says, yes, I need that. Wahaha, yes, you should. You should, and I hope that you will get that very, very soon, Luna. <laughs> It's all about 
art. And art. Luna says, So you like art and deep art? Yes. I like art with a little bit of depth in it. Yes. <laughs> it just got carried to the other side, my goodness. Oh my gosh. Anyway, let's see. Luna says, that sounds bad. I thought you already knew what it was talking about when you were saying that. <laughs> oh my gosh. Get your deep fried art here. Deep fried art. Yes. Just like, you know, just like those deep fried memes. When everything looks like... Like, you know, you... you you got a, like an one of those old fashioned like film pictures and then you just exposed it to the light all of a sudden yeah deep fried memes luna says i know but the deep art is fun to me of course it is fun it is fun why do you think i have i i want to get so much of it <laughs> oh my gosh anyway Let's, uh, move. Let's move these a little closer. Yeah, for those of you who don't know, I also just updated my fan art guidelines in my pinned post on Twitter for all of my accounts, so if you want to go, you can go ahead and check it out. Thank you for the lurk, Luna. Hope to catch you later. Hopefully when I'm not... When I still have some of my sanity left. <laughs> ah, the cherry fell. Oh, the cherry mobile. Luna says the cats are calling for food. Oh, okay, yeah. Go ahead and tend to your cats. Yes, baby! Let's go. Okay, and we put this here, and we put that there. Ah! That was way too much to the left. No! Luna says, it's funny that fruits can drive people insane. This game is a true test of how well you can keep your sanity. Let it not be said that, you know, people have tried so hard and got so far in playing Suica game without losing their minds. Because I almost have many times. Ah. <laughs> <sighs> And it doesn't even matter, yes, that's true, because at the end of the day, it's just a game. Why you have to be mad? Diva. Luna says, I legit go now. Okay, go. Go lang. Make sure you come back. <laughs> if the stream is still up, though. Okay. Let's see. Okay, and then we drop this here, and we drop that there, and we there, and we drop that. There. Nice, nice. <laughs> no! Why do you not touch? Why do you not touch? Okay, wait. Was that another message? Oh, thank you for the hydrate, Jad. <laughs> At this point, I think I need that. Wait, hold on. You know, I I'm still amazed how a number of you still choose to watch me even though I play this game. I guess, I hope it's because of the entertaining reactions. Mmm! Cool Bean says, I do not like the fruit's faces. 
Their smug auras mock me. Thank you for the posture check and the stretch. Okay, let's do that, everybody. Stand up. Check your posture. Uh, and stretch. Uh. 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 Oh, oh, oh. Oh, my shoulder blade. Okay, I think I felt something. Oh, okay, careful, Sergey. Not the shoulder blade. You need that. You love your shoulder blade. I remember earlier this year, uh, when I was still under my co uh, the teachings of my coach, I, I was like jumping on the bars, and then I pulled something, and that was like a very, very awful feeling of pain. I really thought that I injured my shoulder, but apparently I just, you know, pulled a muscle, which is good. It wasn't that as bad as I thought it was, so there's that. Reeker says, it's like watching someone play horror games you don't want to play. <laughs> so we're, so this is like, so it's like you're watching a Chilla's art stream, I guess. You know, Chilla's art has so many games now. I I'm, I'm beginning to lose track of which ones are like the latest. I think the latest one is The Kidnap. And then there was also one called, recently released called Parasocial, which was about VTubing or like the dangers of VTubing. It's a very interesting look into how, you know, the idol industry and VTubing works. Yeah. You know, speaking of which, of VTubing, it's it's really funny that with the with the recent VTuber boom, uh, VTubing has also appeared in um, other forms of media. So say for example, uh, VTu Hololive VTubers have appeared in anime already um, as cameos and what's this that trainer that electric trainer from uh, what's this from Pokemon uh, Scarlet Violet she's pretty much of a, a VTuber slash streamer in all but name Yono is her name yeah I remember now Yono Yono there we go She's pretty much a streamer, YouTuber, and all but name. Yeah, that's her. Yono. And, uh, what's this? In, uh, in Like a Dragon 8, which is coming soon, a VTuber character, well, not a real VTuber character, but someone, uh, a VTuber is going to be an important character in that game too, so yeah. Jat says, I remember that one Korone cameo in Yokai Watch. Yes. And Momosuzu Nene was also was also She also was a voice cameo in which which anime was that? I think it was the one where the like the assassin reincarnated. Something like that. Uh, basta. It was it's one of those many isekai animes. Just pick one. <laughs> I'm sorry if I'm not really expressing myself as a fan of isekai anime. I am I've kind of, you know, gotten... It, it kind of went stale after a while, in my opinion. Reeker says, also that one Taco Bell commercial? VTubers also appeared in Taco Bell. Oh, no, I think that was Gura. That was also like... I'm not sure if it was official, a sponsor of Taco Bell. <laughs> Which is hilarious, by the way. Yeah, and and recently, Like a Dragon Gaiden was released. Um, pretty much the last, the last beat 'em up chapter of the Kiryu saga. So it's it's great to see you know him getting a a very very different take to his story, quote unquote, the last chapter of his story compared to how it ended in. Uh, like a Dragon 6. I don't really care for spoilers, only because I don't really- I- I- I can't play the games. My- my- I- I'm not equipped to play the games, but... 
you know, no spoilers in the chat, but all I'm just saying is, you know, that's really interesting. Seeing the clips. Yeah, and it's called Like a Dragon now. It's not called Yakuza. Because, you know, they, they really reached the... The original localization of it. I still can't believe that Yong Ye is the new... I, I don't know if I'm pronouncing it right. But Yong Ye is now the new uh, voice of Kazuma Kiryu. Yeah. And apparently people were taking issue with that. Because it didn't really sound like Kazuma Kiryu. And also... I, it still it still cracks me up that in the original PS2 version of Yakuza 1, uh, Mark Hamill, aka the Joker, aka Luke Skywalker, was actually the voice of Majima. <laughs> mm. And I and I listened to the videos of Mark Hamill doing his Majima voice, and it's like. Hello there, Kazuma Kiryu-chan! Like that. And that's like, I, I would never have imagined, had I not known, I would have never imagined Mark Hamill saying Kiryu-chan like that. Ever. Saying anime stuff like that. Cool Bean says, one must imagine Sir Japheth happy, yes. That's the only thing we could do at this rate, just imagine Sir J happy. Happy and you know it. Clap your hands. Now clap, chat. I better see some clap emotes. <laughs> Please validate my existence. Myla says, The rate they pump out those games still astounds me, and they are decent, apparently. Yes. Even, even Like a Dragon Gaiden, it was, like, in development for only, like, maybe a few months, I heard. But they still delivered a very top qual- a, a very decent game experience. So, yeah. Good on RGG Studios. Not- not sure if I could say the same about MAPPA with, uh, what was that? Chain Jujutsu Kaisen or what did Mappa make again? The anime studio? Is it or is it or was it Attack on Titan? Oh yeah, Attack on Titan. I'm sorry. Okay, thank God that Attack on Titan is finally over. Attack on Titan, the final season, episode one, part two, final mix, 365 over two days, uh, featuring Dante from the Devil May Cry series with extra Funky Kong mode. Yes. I like to meme on it because... Because to me, it's like The Walking Dead. A TV show. Which was like, So, how many seasons have they been stuck in the prison? My gosh. Like, I, I never watched The Walking Dead TV show. I only read the comics. So I was like, Are they still in the prison? <laughs> After all these years? After all these years. All right, I'm sorry, chat. And Knuckles. I forgot to include and Knuckles. My apologies. All right, we forgot to include Ultra Super Turbo. There we go. Yes. Where where am I with my true fighting game fan references if I don't even include uh, Street Fighter there? Including featuring Dante from Devil May Cry with... Um, extra, with extra Funky Kong mode. <laughs> oh my goodness. Looking good, Joker! My gosh. The only reason why they would say looking good, Joker, is if they managed to get Mark Hamill voicing Majima again in English. But I doubt it. Because they already replaced Daryl Carrillo, who was the original voice of Kiryu. So I don't think... I think they also replaced Majima, uh, Mark Hamill as well. Oh, let's see. Uh... uh...
I know that Metal Gear Solid um, Master Collection is going to be coming to the Switch soon. I think it's already available, but it, speaking of voice actors, there's nothing funnier to me as a kid growing up that a kid that grew up playing Metal Gear and hearing the voice of Grandpa Max from Tech from Tekken, from Ben 10, being the same voice as the Colonel from Metal Gear. It's like, Ben, 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 do you read me? Ben, Ben! <laughs> I was really expecting that at some point. My gosh, just slip in a casual Metal Gear reference. My goodness. You know, why, why not? Why not Cartoon Network? Why not? Paul Eating is his name. The Colonel from Metal Gear, his actor. Yeah. It's just, you know, funny to hear to hear that. And Patrick Warburton as well. If you don't know, Patrick Warburton was uh, the guy who played Kronk on The Emperor's New Groove. And he was also uh, a character, one of the co the teachers from Kim Possible. If you if you hear his voice, his voice is very distinct. You will not miss it. All right, all right. W what about my spinach puffs, Isma? Like that. Anyway, just random trivia. Cool Bean says one of my favorite voiceover work is Christian Bale as Howl. Oh yeah, Christian Bale is also Howl. Why are we going back to Christian Bale again? <laughs> Sorry, Cool Beans. We were talking about Christian Bale earlier, how he was in Pocahontas alongside Mel Gibson, and then how he was in Empire of the Sun with Ben Stiller, and now and then we talked about Ghibli Ghibli movies, and now it's come back full circle. It's Christian Bale as Howl. <laughs> I love Christian Bale. Beaker says you can never get rid of the Sigma. Oh my gosh. Okay, just, just to be aware, everyone, you're not supposed to emulate Christian Bale in American Psycho. That's not that's not how it's supposed to be. It's kind of like, you know, I'm not sure if you're familiar with that game, Six Degrees to Kevin Bacon, where you just you're given like this random person and then you have you have to connect that person or that topic to Kevin Bacon in six or less turns. So, yeah. It's just a it's just a funny experiment. In the same way that they also have what they call those wiki walks where you have like a specific topic that you need to reach and you start from this point. And then you have to reach that, you know, do, 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 do. you have to reach that specific topic within a number of of attempts. Yes, I know Wikipedia is not a valid source. I know I was there when Wikipedia was still new. And in our childish naivete, we thought that Wikipedia was, was, uh, what's this? A, an actual valid source, but apparently it's not. So yeah. Cool Bean says, huh? Can we do a connect to Sergey in six turns? That's a good question. Someone needs to create an article for me in virtual YouTuber wiki first Because apparently I if I want to create an article for Sergey spec, I can't do that Someone has to create it for me From what I know so ahem, ahem, Wink wink, you know if anybody feels like they could do that, uh, you know surprise me with a Christmas uh, surprise for Christmas gift like oh hi Sergey we gave you a, an article in virtual youtuber wiki and even better an article in TV tropes <laughs> Oh my gosh That would be interesting my goodness Yes, I'm very shameless about that that was one of my goals it's like, is to be famous enough to not necessarily be included in Wikipedia, that's very ambitious, but at least in virtual YouTuber wiki and TV tropes dot org. That would be, that would be already a, a really, really nice start. All 
I don't, I don't, not, I'm not really the type of person that really cares for donathons because I'm ashamed of, I, I'm not, I'm very shy to ask money, so, or assistance, so just, just give me, just give me the TV Tropes article. <laughs> oh my gosh. <clears throat> Reeker says, creates VTuber block. <laughs> I suppose, I suppose. <clears throat> Ooh, that cherry is going down there. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go, baby. Let's go, baby. Ah! Ah! Ooh, this is getting stressful. Okay, well, 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 well. Okay, we're beginning to make noises again. We're beginning to make noises again. And not the good kind of noises. <clears throat> <clears throat> Sorry. Anyway, let's continue. How can we resolve this predicament? We can resolve the dick predicament by ending the game. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, sorry. Reeker says, for Gore, we're still playing Suica. Yes, there is no escape from the Suica game. Okay, look, I'm trying not to play something that's too stressful on my hands, so... You know, I need my hands. My hands that can create. My goodness. <clears throat> Oh my gosh, CapCut! CapCut presents! <laughs> imagine, imagine if the drawing software will have their own fighting game. My goodness. <clears throat> uh, Photoshop versus CapCut! <laughs> Let's go crazy! I'm just, I'm again. I'm just glad that uh, what's this? That Attack on Titan is over. That anime has been going on for like more than ten years already. It's time to finally lay it to rest. My gosh. Reeker says crazy. I was crazy once. Yes, weren't we all at one point in our lives? I'm crazy, crazy, happen, baby. Oh no, I shouldn't have put that there. But anyway, let's see. Put this there and it, it, it. Cherry Mobile, baby. Why don't you touch? Why don't you touch? Why don't you touch? 
my voice became raspy all of a sudden. <laughs> you know, that was that was one of the things I really was scared about when I hit puberty. When I hit puberty, my or before I hit puberty, my voice was very high pitched. I was like a tenor or something. And then puberty hit all of a sudden and then my voice became this. <laughs> and growing up, I was I was very insecure about my voice actually. Because, you know, I, I really was proud of my high singing voice in the choir. And then all of a sudden, poof, it went down. But, you know, apparently people began to like, appreciate my voice. As it, as it turned out like this. So, you know, it'll, it'll take time. You'll get used to it. Eventually, all the pieces will fall into place. Take... Take your daily dose of wisdom and and insanity from Kuya Serge. Napakasaki Kuya Serge. I have no idea what I, where I, where I was going with that, but just 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 accept it, okay? Serge, you talk of the week, according to Reeker. Yes. Trust me, with my experience, you will know. <laughs> you will know how it feels. Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! That's what we like to see, baby! That's what we like to see! Jat says, Hey! Reeker says, I'm finally done with my gotcha dailies for today. So the question is, Reeker, did you get Farina? That's the only... That's the most important question. Did you get... Did you get Farina? My goodness. Uh, what's this? There was a joke that I was about to say. What... 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 What, what would be Farina's name if she was a Dendro character? Okay, no, that was a very stupid joke, no. <laughs> okay, anyway. Reeker says, of course I get her, she's an Archon. <laughs> Alright, very good. At least he got her. And Papa Noof. And Risley. I still find it funny that Nouvellet is voiced by Ray Chase, who is also the new voice of Guile. So all... But the only thing I want, the only thing I want Nouvellet to say is Sonic Boom. I just want to hear Nouvellet say Sonic Boom, and and then just hear how he would deliver it in that in that tone. <laughs> he's he's throwing water, but he still manages to say Sonic Boom. <laughs> Let's see... I will have order! I will... I will have order! Okay, what's your gonna... what's gonna be your order, sir? Mama... It's gonna be chicken nuggets. Mama, thank you very much! You know that I love chicken nuggets, thank you mama, mama, thank you very much! You know that I love chicken nuggets. A chicken nuggets. I really want to be a chicken nuggets. And they get me. <laughs> yes, of course. The line, the oratrice mechanique d'analyse cardinal. Yes. People, people really beginning to brush up on their French because of because of Fontaine. Yes. Uh. Put that there. 
Yes. Okay, good. Touch! Touch damnation. There we go. I told you. I told you you had to touch. You just had to believe. You just had to believe. Okay. Dream, believe, survive, starstruck. There we go. Chicken nuggets! Mama, thank you very much. You know that I love chicken nuggets. There we go. Uh, put the cherry over here. Cherry mobile. All right. And we put the grape over. Okay, that was a bad idea. That was a bad idea. Okay. Nope, that was a good idea. That was a good idea. Okay. There we go. Okay, let's leave it there. We'll go here, and then we put that there, and we put that there, and we put that there, and we link it together. Yes, link Breath of the Wild, Tears of the Kingdom. Yes, indeed, no more tears. No more tears shampoo, which is a lie because I still manage to cry when I put no tears or... Yes, what I was gonna say. Sorry, I was just double-checking something. I might have missed my messages again. I don't want that. Do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do
chicken nuggets. <laughs> Nuts. Okay, go down, go down, go down, go down. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, there we go. Chicken nuggets. <laughs> oh, yes. Okay, these are the kinds of jokes that you come to my streams for. Okay, admit it. Chicken nuggets. Gets new bag. Gets gets new. Ah, Coca Cola. <sighs> One must imagine Sergey happy as he goes through this goes through the motions of this game, trying to reclaim some semblance of sanity. <laughs> oh my gosh! What a what a treat! What a treat! Ooh, okay, 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 touch. Stay there. Dark! Chocolate. Why do you not touch? Why do you not touch? What's wrong with you? Milo says, which veggie is aggressively in love with an atis? What what vegetable is that, Milus? Enlighten me, what vegetable is that? Sorry, just uh, checking some things. <clears throat> okay. Cool beans set. Milo says, which veggie is aggressively in love with at an atis? Tomato. Tomato is equal to come atis. Dang, Milus. Milus says, or fruit as well. Cool Bean says, okay, I thought you meant comatose, but comatis. Cool Bean says, I think the fruits are giving us collective brain rot. Yeah, I think we're I think we're getting brain rot from the fruit. My gosh. I think we need to look at something. We, I think we need to look at something uh, different, so that we can finally break free from the brain rot. Okay, we looked at we looked at the something. Okay, that's it. <laughs> ah. Jat says, nice collection of games you got there. Yes, thank you. Nice collection of backlog, you mean. Games that I barely, I rarely ever get to play. <laughs> oh my goodness. Yeah, I should really go play Omega Strikers and Fortnite. Oh, what's this? Fortnite, the, the non-build mode, mind you. Then, yeah, Alien Isolation, I will never forget that. And Skyrim. I'm sorry, Milus. And uh, yeah, a bunch of other things. Shadow Fight 2, best mobile game, in my opinion, now available in the Nintendo Switch. Yes. And Ace Attorney 2. I should be playing that also. And yeah, Shantae. We're definitely not playing that on stream. <laughs> 
Definitely not playing that on stream. Nope, nope, nope. Milo says the internet should start a backlog progression challenge so that players will just stop buying and start playing. You cannot buy any more games on your Steam account where, for your, your specific IP address until you complete a game. Is that how you want it to be, Milas? Is that the world that you are fighting to give our children? <laughs> the kinds of things we're gonna be fighting for in the future, my gosh. Okay. Touch! There we go, baby. Myla says, why am I buying them in the first place? That's a good question. I don't know. <laughs> Some people just buy the, for the collection, I guess. But then again, if you buy for digital, unfortunately, it's the collection will disappear. But the only reason why I'm buying digital and I'm not buying physical copies is because we don't have a lot of space in my home for physical copies. So... So that's not an option for me to always buy physical. Especially, I, I will still, I will never for, I will never let this go. That the ridiculous size of the Nintendo Switch cases in comparison to the tiny, uh, in comparison to the tiny cartridges. Why are the cases so big in comparison? That's what they say. <laughs> All right, so yeah. Just, just don't. Yes. Cool Bean says the Steam sales sirens allure you with their low prices. That is true. The power of Gabe. Milas, Milas says holidays are coming. Steam gonna glow up soon, which is true. Reeker with a Game of Thrones reference, I suppose. It's not just winter, it's coming. It's the winter sale is coming. Milus is gonna get that Baldur's Gate 3 soon. Ah, yeah, with your new laptop. I'm sure your new laptop can handle Baldur's Gate. No problem, Milus. Do you mind if you can share what's the brand of that new laptop of yours? I wanna get inspiration. Is it a ROG? Is it a Republic of Gamers? My, 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 my playing this match is very, very sloppy all of a sudden. Oh, it's an Asus. Okay. It's the most, it's the, it's the, it's the laptop brand or it's the electronics brand that always easily gets frustrated. ASUS! <laughs> I so a a sus. There we go. Ooh, piña colada already, baby. Nice. Jad says, "I time to buy games on sale." Haha, <laughs> if my PC can handle the game. I bought a ton of games on Steam and not and I can only play a few of them. <laughs> Hey Luna, welcome back. We we're just talking about, you know, laptops and stuff and uh what's this? And the fact that I cannot play I can barely play the games in my video in my collection on Steam because I don't have I don't have a strong enough laptop. <laughs> Thank you for explaining, Cool Beans. The fruits have given us brain rot. Thank you for making it easier for Luna. <laughs> cool Beans says, Me with Devil May Cry 4, Monster Hunter World, Near Automata, and an old laptop running <laughs> Windows 65. Oh my gosh. Reeker, Reeker says it best. It's, it's future investing. Yes, it's about the future. It's about the future. Look, okay, in this economy, do you think we can save for a home? 
I don't know, but we can save for Steam Winter Sale. <laughs> With the power of Gabe. Jad says, Despite my PC barely playing games since I remember playing Mega Man 11 on PC, my PC slows down and lag that I have to downgrade the graphics at the settings. When I have to play on Steam, Jad, I have to bring it all the way down to ultra low just so my, just so my stream will not die. That's how bad the situation is. Reeker says, we shall become homeowners in-game. Therefore, we're gonna buy The Sims. <laughs> and I think there's like this new update on The Sims, like like an apartment mode, and that, and that has gotten Sims fans insanely hyped, from what I know. Chat says, potato quality mode on. Yes. That's how we survived back then, and that's how we will survive now. With the power of the patatas. Yes. Ah, why do you... Mm, mm, why do you not touch? Why do you not touch? Ah, okay, there we go. Let's go. Okay, okay. Jad says, same thing as what I did when playing Bomberman as well. Potato mode on just to run it smooth. Yeah, that's how it was. We gotta cope. We gotta cope. It do be like that. <laughs> it almost flew. It almost flew. My goodness. We saved it. <laughs> ah! Well, Cool Beans, thank you for the lurk, but you don't have to worry because we're gonna be ending this game. I am tired. I'm tired. Okay. That's it. I think we're good. I think we're good enough for today. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and wrap up, everyone. I'm done. But thank you very much for stopping by. Let's go ahead and just wrap up at the stream over here. And thank you once again, everybody, for stopping by. I'm very glad that you were able to join me as yes the fruits did in did in the end break my spirit which is true yes i really i really really wish that you know it didn't reach that point but apparently yes it did it did break me so that's just how it is ah well anyway we're just gonna go ahead and leave and leave it at that i'm just happy that we are finally done for today we got this out of my system and we can now move forward with the rest of my day but thank you once again for stopping by and i appreciate that yes the fruits did break my spirit cool beans jad says take care sir jay get well soon from the suica game brain rot i hope so because i have work tonight my goodness and i don't want to have to deal with the brain rot while i'm working <laughs> Oh my gosh. But anyway, we'll just leave it at that. I'm just uh, happy that we were able to get this one taken care of. And now, because it's almost lunchtime, let me just find someone that we can raid for today. I'll take care of the one uh, raiding. All right, let's go ahead and uh, let's go ahead and raid. Uh, I want to raid Siori Strom because I want to see um, her 
play Call of Dragons. That's like what that's like the new game that's on right now. It's kind of like uh, what they did with Raid Shadow Legends. They're offering a lot of sponsorships. So I want to see, you know, what the deal the deal is about with that. So let's go ahead and raid Siori. The raid message is here and I'll go ahead and send you on your way over to her to give her some Sergevian Nation love. So again, thank you once again, everybody, for stopping by. I appreciate your time, and I hope that this stream brought a little more color to your day. Again, my name is Sergey, saying you take care, always stay safe, and keep the world turning. Bye now. Salama spec. Love y'all.